Tulu on MTV Sugar Down South changed my life. And it wasn't just what you saw on screen. I come from a super conservative background. And before MTV Sugar, I don't think I fully understood half of what's happening in South Africa when it comes to sex and relationships today. Watching season two made me want to find out even more, which is why I'm here to dig deeper in MTV Sugar in real life. I want to meet real people going through some of what we as actors only pretend to. Real people whose lives don't stop when our cameras call cut. I'm going to spend time with three real people on three totally different journeys. Abigail is single again and ready to get back into the dating scene. But will it be more complicated now that she's HIV positive? Gobesa is like a warrior for female sexuality and how to own it. She is helping Tumi figure out the world of prep. And Raymond? Well, he's getting ready to take his long distance love offline and into the real world. Sounds simple? When is it ever? First off, we meet Raymond and get the lowdown on how he met his boyfriend, Tando. I met Tando on online and we started being friends, started chatting from the end. You know when you see someone's picture, like complimenting them, and you like like minutes later, then I get an inbox from him. Then we exchanged numbers, so we moved to WhatsApp, and then we started talking. And then I think we started dating in December. I love her and Glenco. Glenco is actually like, it's really tiny. And it's got, I think, one shopping center. It's got one restaurant, I think. Sandy lives in Johannesburg. Yeah, I think our, our dynamics are like different because he's used to the fast lifestyle and I'm just used like country-wise, but then it's like two different things. Just like Raymond, last season we saw Reggie go through his own complicated coming out story. But this season he's also looking for love. You could do supper with me. That wouldn't be so bad, would it? What makes Raymond's story more complicated is that he's never actually met Tando. Let's see what his friends think about yeah. online dating. How is your life? Because like you've never met this person, so like do you think almost oh, Jena you are going somewhere? I mean, I've been in that relationship and it didn't work out well. I've been in that relationship too. It didn't work out. It did not. Yeah. I mean, like, we've been together for like at least two months now. On social media? I love him. I know I love him. You never touched him. I guess he's a little bit. Well, come on. So, when are you actually seeing this guy? Um, I don't know. I mean, would you ask somebody from Johannesburg to come to Glenco? How? Like, that's. Okay, just, no, 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 no. There's really nothing to do in Glenco. So if Raymond is ever going to see Tando in person, he's going to have to make the trip to Jersey. Last season, Bongi had to come to terms with being HIV positive. This season, she's trying to figure out how to navigate dating and disclosing, and Abigail is on the exact same journey. I just found out that I'm HIV positive just 2017. I was so stressed. Yeah, I couldn't handle it the situation because I thought I might die anytime soon. Maybe there will be a discrimination. Once I accepted, I managed to socialize with people. They were like, oh, you are talking about the small thing. HIV is not a death sentence, you know, like they have bigger problems. I caught up with Abigail and her friend to chat about all things love and HIV. Must I go first? These balls are heavy. Yes, girl. Hey! Have you been on a date since finding out your HIV status? Nope. You I haven't? haven't? Yes. Because it, it can be a little bit more complicated when it comes to um, being HIV positive and starting to date again. Like, how are you going to tell your partner that you're HIV positive? And the stigma. Yeah. People don't know about HIV. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay, Abby, you got this. That's always the next time. Always. 
but when is the right time? Do you disclose it on the first date? Do you disclose it on the second date? Not on a first date, because you know how people are. Mm -hmm. Then they will tell other people like... You'll end up disclosing to the whole community about your status. Yeah, but now what if you get to the second date and this guy really likes you and you really like this guy and now he kind of feels maybe like betrayed? There must be a way like communicating with the guy, like asking him questions like, how do you feel about people who are HIV? Oh, so you first want to you, so you yes, test the yes, waters, yes, so you don't want to just go on a date, it, yeah. eat and be like, by the way, I'm HIV positive. You got one, my friend. So, a little birdie told me that you are going on a blind date uh, arranged by your lovely best friend over here, Lindiwe. Is that true? Yes, it's true. I arranged a date for my friend. I, I met him on Facebook. Apparently, he's looking for a partner. Uh -huh. So, I thought Gabe would, hey, be, okay. would be suitable for him. He's kind of cute. He's very cute. Is he your type? Yes. Mm -hmm. Is your cup of coffee? Yes, <laughs> cappuccino. Ah, oh, wow. I'm excited. I think it's going to be good. <laughs> So Visa is a young model from Jersey using PrEP or pre-exposure prophylaxis, which if you're HIV negative, lowers your risk of contracting the virus by 90%. When I first had my HIV test, I was scared because I had never tested before. So I didn't know if they were going to come out positive or negative because I had not used a condom at the time. And I was like, no, I need to change the way I live. I need to be more cautious. I started taking PrEP because I felt at high risk of contracting HIV. After starting her own PrEP journey, Kobisa has become an activist for sexual health. Um, Yo, we are shining so <laughs> bright in these lights. Speaking around the world on using PrEP to stay safe. I've got my beautiful sister right here, Ngobisa. What inspired you to become an activist or an ambassador for a PrEP? Most young people who actually need the pill, they don't know about it. PrEP can only be used by people that are um, HIV negative and it works highly effective if it's taken every day. Well, that's it for me right here on One Red Gun. Until next time, see you then. Later today, I'll be doing a talk with young people from around Jovi. Besides being on TV and doing public talks, Kobisa has a massive following on social media and often gets people messaging her to find out more about PrEP. One person who she's been chatting to for a while is Tumi. I contacted Kobisa because I'm in a very risky relationship. I'm with a person that I can't trust, hence I, I wanted to know more about PrEP. Kobisa invited Tumi to the talk she's doing later today to get more info. Back in Glencoe, Raymond has made the decision to go and visit Tando in Johannesburg. My friends had like different opinions about my relationship with Tando. They made me realize that I should go see him. I mean, he is my, my, my boyfriend after all. Thank you. Okay. So like, do you know anything about Tando, like his past relationships? I don't really know about the, the, the man he's dated. So like, what will he do? Like, he wants to be like more intimate with you. If we gonna do that, then he'd have to go we both have to go taste it. It's like I don't want to experience that type of anxiety when you be intimate with somebody and now all of a sudden you feel sick and in your mind you get all this like thoughts, so what if I'm HIV positive? I mean, it's, it's for both of us. Like, do you think he's going to be okay with that? I mean, he has to, unless... He's hiding something. I'm going to stay with him because I'm going to stay with this is my first time going to Joburg alone, so it does really make me a bit anxious. The day has arrived for Abigail's first ever blind date. She's meeting KG in downtown Jersey so they can go on a cycle tour of the inner city. Hi, hi. Hi, hi. How are you? Thanks to nice you. to meet you, eh? Oh, nice to meet you, is it the too. Person, I'm up here. Is it the person I saw in the picture? Yes. They look much prettier than now, eh? Seriously? Yes, yes. nice to you. meet you, eh? I was so nervous. Oh, I didn't expect to see such a nice guy. Oh. I'm tired. Yo. It's an exercise and a half, ne? Sure, yeah, ne? Uh, soccer is my favorite sport. 
So, favorite team is FA? Orlando Pirates. Ah, because. Once and always. Which has way to. Right, yeah. Why not? Favorite? Chiefs. We must move to Pirates. So, I've got a spare t shirt, it's a Pirates. How about I give it to you? I don't know how, how you're gonna take this thing. Eh? Like, maybe you're going for, let's say, for HIV and AIDS, like, or test. Yes. Ne? So, like, if it happened, like, maybe, or Gremont, maybe, or Sachi, or before, you know, they take like, not or... Personally, I wouldn't judge that particular lady I love based on their HIV status. If you love me and if you are transparent with me from the red go, it's not a problem, eh? For now, because since it's a first date, I'm not ready to disclose my status. So if one could say, Nelly, Abigail, what you doing on a weekend? Let's just go out and I see the street of Josie. I won't have any problem. Mm, he's so humble. That's what I like about him. He got that TC, you know, because I'm talking about tender K. Yes. <laughs> Raymond nervously arrives in Johannesburg to meet Tando for the first time since they started dating. I don't really know how to explain this, but just come by the steps this side. <laughs> so thank you, boy. You're so skinny. It was heartwarming to see him. I was in cloud nine, I felt so, I just felt joyous, I suppose. Okay, I won. Well, my first date with Tando went just a little bit awkward. And how was it to have me here? Nice. Only that. <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's nice. <laughs> <laughs> Don't cry. The first kiss was kind of nice, just gave me a few butterflies. For me, it was just as easy to talk to him in person as we've talked before online. I am Toby Stab Madlolo. I am here to mainly discuss about the drug that is called PrEP. Does anyone know what PrEP is? PrEP is a pill that prevents you from contracting HIV. What do you guys use to protect yourselves when you're being intimate? Condoms. Do you use condoms always? Yes. Do you use condoms always? All of you? Yes. <laughs> yes, but no, yes, no. <laughs> so if I take this PrEP, there's no need to use condoms. No, there is a need to use condoms if you take PrEP, because PrEP doesn't um, prevent you from making someone pregnant and also getting a STEM. I've heard that it's used by um, people who sleep with uh, a lot of people. So I just want to ask, are we, aren't we embarrassed to use ch such a drug? I don't think you should be ashamed of taking, of taking care of yourself. If you want to use that, use that as long as you feel at risk of contracting HIV. Anyone can use it? Yes, as long as you're HIV negative and you feel at risk, yes. When I come to this post to do my talk, my goal is to save a life because definitely people that need PrEP, but they actually don't know about it. Tumi is still undecided about PrEP. But Kobisa has a bunch of people, including some familiar faces from Sugar, that she wants her to meet before she makes her call. Raymond and Tando have now spent a few days together as a real-life couple. And even though things have gotten more intimate, they haven't yet been physical. And how are you going to cope without me? I honestly don't know how to cope without you. Raymond has decided to have the let's get tested talk with his boy. Can you count the number of partners, sexual partners you've had? I can. Can you? Yeah. How many? Two. <laughs> How many? Don't play had? with me. I had two. And you've done an HIV test before? Yeah, but that was like a long time ago. 
And we'd remind if I said, well, let's take an HIV test before we actually do the deed. No, it's weird. Why is it weird? Because nobody does that. Well, I do it. <laughs> we have like an HIV test and we both know our statuses and we come back and we... No, it's like we're planning to have sex. We're not, we are planning. <laughs> no, sex must just happen. Kind of felt like he was being ignorant. It is going to be quite of an issue. I want to get tested with him before having sex just to be on the safe side of things. I don't really understand the, that logic because you find it weird that we go in for an HIV test, which is something every couple should do. Yeah, I think for the first time we use a condom and then as time goes, we that's when we can like go test. I just felt sad and I felt as if his love had limits. I don't really know what to say. Since their date, Abigail and KG have been texting regularly, but they haven't seen each other again. So tell me about your date, Chumi. Hey, oh, my friend, the date was so perfect, you know. You have a taste, my friend. I don't want to lie. Mm, is it? Yes. So what did you talk about? Did you check the water, my friend? about HIV and see what he thinks about it. Yeah, I mm. did, my friend. And he doesn't have that thing of discriminating people. With oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The stigma. Okay. Yes. Did he disclose the status to you? No, I didn't. But my why, friend. my friend? I was not yet read. Why don't you do it now? Send him a text message so. right now, because you are scared to do it face to face. Yeah. Hi, KG. So there's something I've been meaning to tell you all day, but I was scared to tell you. Mm -hmm. I'm sure he's gonna respond. Maybe he's, be he's busy. Yeah. I hope he gets back to me, my friend. Okay. Do you like him, ne? Yeah. Okay, I hope he calls you back. I hope he replies. And I hope he's okay. I'm sure it's gonna be okay. I'm crossing my fingers. I've been dying to meet Raymond and find out all about how Johannesburg and Tando are treating him. Oh, I'm good. Nice to see you. You've spent a few days, right, with Tando. Yeah. So, what happened? It's been fun, I suppose. Like, doing the things people do in relationships. Everything's happy, hunky-dory and fine. Except for, for the uh, conversation we had about HIV and all that, that was a bit off. Have you agreed that you're both gonna go get tested? You he get... said it's weird. Does this not like raise a little bit of red flags? Well, I don't really approve of it, but I have no choice. You do, of course you have a choice. What do you mean you don't have a I don't, choice? I, I In what way? I to, to go there with me. But what does that mean for you and protecting yourself? I think the solution to this for now would be just to abstain from sex. In spite of Tando's decision, Raymond wanted to do an HIV self-test. But because he's under 18, he will have to do his self-test at a clinic. Only if you are 18 and over can you do the test at home. You swipe once on your upper gum, then you turn it around, you swipe once on your lower gum. Put it inside here and wait for 20 minutes. You will do it yourself, then I will wait outside, then you will call me if you need any assistance. Now. Okay, thank you. My only hope for Raymond is that he realizes that he must put his health first, even above love. First time I saw her, your wife couldn't believe my eyes. Kobisa and I invited a bunch of friends to a picnic to talk about all things prep. I got some of the sugar cars to come through. Mohale, who plays Oradile, and Mama Rumo, who plays Deneo, as both their characters are taking prep this season. Kobisa is hoping that this will help Tumi try and make a decision around whether or not she wants to start taking prep. Mom, uh, you play the character of Dineo. Mm -hmm. She starts using yeah, prep. She starts using prep. Yeah. Did you, as Mom, Rumo, know anything I about didn't prep? Know. You didn't. So I you didn't had to know. do uh, research yourself. Exactly. I didn't know guys had to take prep. In fact, I found out and I'm like, okay, then why are they not taking prep? Who's using prep right now? So as a, as a young woman in South Africa, no one is safe. 
Yes. From mm. HIV. So I decided, why not take this pill? Because I don't know what my partner does when he's not around. If my boyfriend came up to me and said that, something straight is happening. Yes. So you're sleeping with this person who's yeah. HIV positive and they didn't actually disclose their status to you. And you're using this condom and the condom actually breaks. And you're like, no, we trust each other. I started using PrEP when my boyfriend was cheating on me. I have to prevent HIV, so I started taking PrEP. And are yeah. you then still with him since you're still taking PrEP? So I am still with him. So, okay. But if you know he's cheating and Why he's not just around, leave? Why this not thing just... Just... I love him. That's the point that yeah. I, I'm still with him. Mm, I love yeah. him. As a gay man, I used to take PrEP before I was in a serious relationship. And now that I'm in a committed relationship, I've let go of PrEP. You don't take it for the rest of your life. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So for the period where you know that I am going to be exposed to getting infected, yes. that's when you take the it. The bottom line that I'm hearing is PrEP is supposed to be used for high-risk situations. What high-risk is can only be defined by the individual, which is what Tumi is still battling to figure out. Being so intimately involved in everyone's stories, I wanted to meet up a few weeks later and see how they were all doing. Raymond, how are you and Tando doing? We're doing okay. I'm still in love with him. Did you speak about him getting tested again? No, we never spoke about it. Because Tando still hasn't been tested, they have not been intimate yet, and Raymond is sticking to his no test, no sex rule. Tumi has some relationship news of her own. I met up with her to find out how this affects her prep decision, but Kobisa couldn't be there. I have decided that for now I'm single, so I'm not going to be using prep. Oh, OK, yes. so you guys are no longer together. Yes. I'm going to make sure that I'm going to take a prep before I start having sex. As soon as I'm ready for another relationship, yeah, I go for it. KG finally got back to Abigail and her status has not affected the way he feels about her. They are very much into each other and are going on a third date.